welcome back to my channel where we talk all things skincare formulation. So today I'm making a dupe of a product called Liquid Gold by the indie skincare brand Stradia. This product is super, super popular in skincare consumer communities. It has a cult following and it's so popular it's even been featured in Forbes magazine. This product is a lightweight and simultaneously rich emulsion. It's quite fluid, but emollient at the same time. The best descriptor I can think of is creamy oil serum. It contains ceramides, cholesterol, panthenol, niacinamide, and other skin-loving ingredients, as well as some really lovely carrier oils, including sea buckthorn berry oil, sea buckthorn seed oil, rosehip seed oil, and cranberry seed oil. So I've used countless bottles of liquid gold and I would definitely agree that there is something very special about it in that it's incredibly reparative and softening. It gives me a glow unlike anything else so I knew I had to try to dupe it. So I'm using Tago Care 450 to make this product which is the emulsifier used in the original product. This emulsifier seems to be a bit more difficult to get a hold of, so as an alternative, I would highly recommend Glycerol Sterate and PEG 100 Sterate. Both Tago Care 450 and Glycerol Sterate and PEG 100 Sterate create rich and lightweight emulsions. You can also use basically any other complete emulsifier, but you may have to play around with the input of xanthan gum and acetyl alcohol because Tago Care 450, like Glycerol Sterate and PEG 100 Sterate, is quite non-bodying, meaning it does not contribute a lot of viscosity to the emulsion. So let's get into it. So starting with our water phase, this beaker contains 62.6 grams of distilled water, and to that I am adding 4 grams of propane dial. Shadows follow me over the hills in the evergreen trade past two grams of glycerin into the wild. four grams of niacinamide into the wild. two grams of panthenol And lastly, 0.1 grams of citric acid, that is our pH adjuster, and 0.1 grams of tetrasodium EDTA, that is our collator. And that is our water phase. No going back, Moving on to our oil phase, to my beaker I am adding three grams of Tago Care 450. 1.5 grams of subtle alcohol. Um, 2.5 grams of sea buckthorn berry oil and 2 grams of sea buckthorn seed oil. You can kind of see the different colors. The berry oil is much more pigmented than the seed oil. <laughs> Three grams of rosehip seed oil. One gram of cranberry seed oil. Two grams of squalane. This one is olive derived. Two grams of dimethicone. So normally I wouldn't use this much dimethicone, but it looks like the original product contains about 2%. And lastly, 0.2 grams of xanthan gum. This one is xanthan gum soft. And, hear the shadows follow me over and that is our oil phase. So we have our two phases. I'm going to cover these with some aluminum foil and put them in a double boiler for about 20 minutes. So it's been about 20 minutes. As you can see, all of our solid ingredients have melted and all of our powders have dissolved in the water phase. So now it is time to combine our phases and blend. Into 
So I blended this for about two minutes with the immersion blender and I let it sit and let the temperature come down and now it is time to add our cool down ingredients. So in this bowl, I've weighed out 0.5 grams of liquid Dermal Plus, that's our preservative, 0.5 grams of vitamin E and two grams of green tea extract. In addition, I'm using five grams of ceramide complex. So I don't know if you could tell in the video, but I did lose some viscosity when I added the ceramide complex. That's just how the ceramide complex works. It always results in a loss of viscosity, but that's actually okay because I accounted for that in the formula. So for packaging, I am using this 1.7 ounce airless pump bottle. So somehow I was able to get the product in the bottle without making too much of a mess, shockingly, and I want to show you how it applies and what the absorption is like. So it has a lot of slip and glide, and I know I say that about every single emulsion that I make, and that's because I simply won't make an emulsion that doesn't have a lot of slip and glide. It's one of the most important things that I look for, and there's almost nothing I hate more than drag. So it's very rich, very emollient. That's my favorite thing about this product. And having used countless bottles of the Stradia, I can definitely confirm that this is very, very close to the original. And as you can see, it doesn't tint the skin at all, even though it has that gorgeous, rich color in the bottle from the sea buckthorn berry and sea buckthorn seed oils. <laughs> If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you found the video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and let me know down below what you are working on. Thank you so much. Dream myself for a chance to